stress-free travel with your kiddos. It does not seem possible, does it? But long airport lines, high prices, heavy traffic, it can drain your festive spirit fast. But there are some things that you can do ahead of time and also during the trip to make things a little less overwhelming. Joining me now to make things a little easier, hopefully through the weekend, Karen LeBlanc, travel writer and host of The Design Tourist. That just sounds like you have a great <laughs> life. It's pretty fun. Yeah, there's so much to see and do, and it sounds like you could do a lot of that. I do. Let's talk about the kids because, I mean, what I find is I would rather not travel with them because <laughs> they, alone. I know what, I mean, and once you get there, it's fun, but sometimes right. that journey can be so arduous. Right, right. So I say, especially with holiday travel, there are four P's okay. and those four P's are planning, prepping, packing and a positive attitude. And if we follow those four P's, that will help us have an enjoyable travel season this holiday yeah. season. Okay, so you want to get into the four P's? Yeah, let's do it. So <laughs> planning, I'm assuming that kind of means like what, what you're doing every single minute because Absolutely. that's what they want to know. Well, planning starts right at home and there are many major destinations, including Orlando. I'm wearing a visit yeah, Orlando, I love it. a sweatshirt. So uh, that offer free planning services. Mm. Visit Orlando.com and other major destinations. Typically, their tourism bureaus or agencies or departments offer travel experts for free that will work one on one with you and plan an itinerary. So it's like that. having a free travel yeah. agent. There's so, things that you don't always think about, you know? Right. I mean, like, I remember when mine were little, it was like you always had to have snacks, you always had to have like a game or something you could pull out your purse, diapers, that type of stuff. Right. But as they get older, or they, they just don't have the bandwidth. Like they want to do something big all the time. They want to do something big all the time. And that is where we get to prepping. Okay. That's our next P. And one of the first things that we do is we really take time to download all of our apps mm -hmm. and all of our entertainment, our podcast, our audiobooks, our yes. movies, our flight tracker app. There's a great app called Flight Aware yep. that allows you to track in real time your flight so you'll know right away if it's delayed or if it's canceled mm -hmm. and this is a great tool because you can't just rely on the airline app to tell right. you that yeah speaking of apps you also do want to download your airline app because they offer a lot of uh entertainment and mm -hmm. flight options and you can't expect to have that tv monitor in the back of the um seat i know on all airplanes. So a lot true. of the older yep. airplanes don't have that right so you, you need definitely to have want to make sure you have your your smart device loaded up with all your entertainment options and all of your essential apps including maybe flight aware and your airline app as well all right our third p okay so we talked about prepping uh, packing mm -hmm. okay if you can avoid it carry on for every single family member. And I know that's a big ask, but I'm gonna tell you right yeah. now, it's a cost saver. Carry-ons typically cost us money, but also it is Just such a case. time saver yeah. and headache saver. Uh, being in those long baggage claim lines, waiting for your luggage, dealing with lost luggage. Mm -hmm. If you do have to check a bag, I highly recommend getting a luggage tracker, one of those GPS mm -hmm. locator, whether it's an Apple AirTag or a tile mm -hmm. to put in your luggage. That yeah. will save you some aggravation. Because as well. usually they're at the end of the string at that point, you know, when the bags yes. are coming through and you, if you could just get off the plane and go, it's a much better situation. Absolutely. I love positive attitude and like, because my thing is kind of like, I set the expectation. Mm -hmm. So this is how long this is gonna take. This is maybe take a little longer, maybe a little shorter. And I find when we all are on the same page, things are so much better. Yeah, and also it's just about setting expectations. It is the holidays, expect long lines, expect traffic mm -hmm. delays, expect unforeseen challenges and embrace all of it. Embrace it's part it. of the memory making yep. and the joy of this season and try to make the most of it. If you have little ones, bring, uh, you know, paper and crayons yeah. on the plane and have them draw and write Christmas cards yep. to A tic tac toe marathon, that works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, real quick though, I remember one of the, my most funnest like flight experiences, our plane was delayed and it was like two or three hours, but we all went to the bar and we just had the best time. And by the end we were like really good friends. So I think that it's all that mindset it that even when things go bad, you can still make it fun. So Absolutely. Thank Grab you so cocos, much. Sit on the floor yeah. and, and make, make it an adventure. Adventure. Yeah. You got it. All right. Thank you. Amanda. So I just want to point out oh. for more travel tips you can go to the designtourist.com there are links to a lot of what we talked about and other tips as well to just yeah, help make it easier uh, prepare for the holiday travel season because it's going to be a busy one the third busiest holiday travel season since 2000 according to AAA. Great. Right. make sure we're ready thank you so much uh -huh.